G'day guys, welcome back to another Pink Panda AFL 23 video. As we all know, the massive trailer dropped tonight with a lot of new footage, combined with a bit of the old footage as well, and obviously the inclusion of pro teams, which we have done a separate video for, so make sure you go check that out if you want to tailor in on that a bit more specifically. But we'll roll we'll roll the um, the trailer as it comes through. With the, Obviously we've got some teams running out, which is good. Um, like I said, a lot of this we sort of saw from the launch night. Um, but it's good to to re relive and re-see everything in it, all its glory. Um, one of the, I suppose, new things to note from a ground perspective with this pulled back shot of, shot of the G is I think in the launch game at the launch party that there wasn't any sponsors showing on the ground. And I know, I know a few people were asking about that, um, if they were going to be in the game and relevant to certain times of the season. So obviously we've got the... The Premiership season logo, uh, you've got your Telstra logos. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if that carries over for Gather Round and SDNR. And I think Anzac is going to be having some logos on the ground as well. So that'll be something to keep an eye out for during the game. But looking good from a, an aerial shot perspective. I uh, do want to pause here and just talk about the ball quickly uh, with my particular line of work. This is a, a big thing for me and that the ball looks exactly as per how we uh, knock them up at Sharon. It's come up an absolute treat. Um, I think it was maybe the grand final kit where they had just a goal kicking challenge that the Macca's branding wasn't on that ball, uh, which was noted by a few people. And I'm pretty sure it was in some of the shots or some of the different modes that we looked at in the dev kit, but maybe not necessarily in the game. But uh, good to see the Macca's badges all in there in its uh, fully fledged glory. And even just like the attention to detail on the umpire shirts as well with their sponsors, uh, umpiring AFL. It's the small things like that, that that sort of make a game feel a bit more complete, I suppose. The uh, the rucking... I know it's just, you know, the video and it's a trailer, but the rucking even here does look a little bit different and, and improved on what we had on launch night. Um, obviously, the actual genuine gameplay will probably look and feel different to what we're seeing on the trailer, but all the footage we're seeing is ripped exactly from the game, um, as is it's not doctored up, it's not, you know, no special effects, anything like that. The only thing that's been done different is obviously on the versions that Ross has got access to, that they have access to. They can send a camera around any angle, um, any way they want, and that's how they can get those different kind of, you know, look up shots and things like that. So that's the only difference. Other than that, it's an exact extraction from from the game. So that's uh, a promising bit of sign to come. So some of this stuff we saw already um, on the initial launch night party. Uh, I do want to talk about the Charlie Cameron celebration. Uh, I think a lot of you would have seen Mitch Robinson do his video where he went into Big Ant and put on the suit um, to do all the motion capture work for about 30 minutes at Icon Park. And as we know, a lot of his work included doing celebrations like the Charlie Cameron, his former teammate. Uh, I think he did Xavier Dersma, the bow and arrow, which we'll see later on in this clip. But uh, pretty cool to see how, you know, it's transformed from Mitch doing that in the suit, which we saw, you know, a week or so ago, which is now into the game. So uh, I think the celebrations had a nice touch and just, you know, you can relate to the players a bit more because that's what we see them do on a, on a weekly basis. Uh, the stadiums, we obviously saw a heap of stadiums come through, some still shots the other day from Big Ant, and they're looking really, really good. Uh, the, the big question mark is what will the the new stand of GMHBA look like. So we're yet to find out that piece, but uh, it sounds like we will get some image of that in the near future to confirm what it will look like. Uh, we've got Pro Team, obviously, which I mentioned at the start. We have done a separate video on this, which you can go check out if you want to just talk about that and, and go through the cards, but looking very, very slick. I'm really, really pumped for this mode. Um, it's going to be an absolute belter. Coming up, so I think this, I reckon this actual piece here is one of the highlights of the video, um, as small and as minor as that might sound, but you just watch the actual physics of this marking contest. In terms of the collision as well, like the body-on-body -body contact and then where the bodies fall to and things like that, it just has a really good sense of realism to it. So you can just see how he just sort of rolls off to the side after making contact with the spoil. We'll roll it again. But I, I really like that. I really think that adds a, a really good element of um, of realism to the game. So, And it's something I know a lot of people have been keen to see. Uh, a bit of gameplay from the Pies. A few people have, have questioned why is uh, Scotty Penelbury using a red ball at night time. And that's simply just because when you play the game, if it's like a, a kickoff game, if you want to call it that, you can select the ball type, whether it's a, a gather-round ball, a, 
red ball, yellow ball, uh, whatever. So someone just happened to choose the uh, the red ball for this. But uh, the gameplay here is really good. Um, you know, he's got that. You can tell it's his kicking style. But you can really tell it's Pendlebury's doing it. And then uh, the specky from Jamie Elliott, which we haven't seen much of yet uh, in game because it, the, the speckies weren't available in the launch kit uh, but they they did say on the night which you would have heard on the stream that they are working on that to obviously be in the main game which it, which it is uh the cutscenes with the coaches we obviously have seen a bit of that from the launch night a pretty cool little addition i suppose the unknown here is if the i suppose the tactic the tactics that we're seeing on the board here are they relevant to what we've actually set in game um, whether it's you know a high press or flooding to one side of the ground for a kick out or anything like that um, that's probably the one part of the game I hope does go a bit deeper the tactic side of it especially being able to change things on the fly would be good uh, and I'm holding high hopes for it simply because um, you know with Big Ant saying that they had the assistant coaches in during COVID when they couldn't be working at the club they were on the Big Ant payroll and they were giving input into the AI the building of the game um, they're doing opposition analysis uh, and going through all kind of tactical stuff, which gives me a little bit of hope that it might translate into the game in some capacity, which would be really, really good to see. Uh, I do want to stop here on the singing the songs in the rooms quickly, stopping on the greatest team of all, obviously. Uh, the one thing that has been pointed out is if you look here, you can see all the players are the same height. Um, now, Ross has confirmed already tonight that that isn't the case in the real game. In the real game, they are all different heights um, as per what their actual stats dictate with height. And this was just, I suppose, a feature within the mode that they have that they can toggle on and off um, and someone just accidentally didn't flick it off for the trailer. So not the end of the world, but it's good to know that it's been cleared up already that the actual player heights will be reflected accurately in the, uh, the circle when singing the song, which is pretty good. Uh, the Premiership Celebration scene is a pretty good one, as much as it pains me being Geelong, but uh, Joel, you got Joel Selwood there and obviously Chris Scott. Um, I'm going to be interested to see if Joel Selwood makes an appearance anytime soon in the Pro Team's Legend status. Uh, you would think that someone of his ilk will, will get a will get a card of some description, but you know the small detail again with the, the banner in the background. Um, you know, you've got the cannons and everything like that. I know it seems, might seem Captain Obvious, but it's just good to have all the detail in there as per what we're used to seeing when going to the game. So players up there celebrating, got the confetti going off. And then we finish with, um, I suppose, the cover of the game and a bit of advertising. So one of the big concerns people had while watching this trailer was it, it didn't say anywhere that the game was coming out on the 4th of May. Um, and they were a bit thinking that does that mean something i don't think that really means anything in terms of a delay i'm not at all concerned um ross has publicly posted a few times in the last few days that his expectation is still the 4th of may and the way i kind of look at it is he wouldn't say that or post that if he didn't think it was a realistic chance to, to happen especially after the first delay it would be crazy to to give that kind of hope and vibe if you knew you weren't going to hit the date. So I'm still feeling pretty com confident, confident that the 4th of May will be the launch date. Um, and Ross seems to feel that way too, based on his posting. So I think we're best just to, to go by that until and if we hear otherwise. But sounds like it's all tracking well. Um, hope everyone enjoyed the trailer. And it sounds like that now this has dropped, I would be keeping an eye on all your socials because there should be a lot more content to come from the AFL and from Big Ant. And uh, as always, we'll be all across it and we'll bring you some more videos in the near future. So if you enjoyed it, make sure you give a subscribe and a follow and I'll see you in the next video.